All right, once again, we are here at Everfree Northwest. I am Tech Rat, along with Joe Stevens for the Equestrian Inquirer and Everfree Radio. And we have a guest with us here today that um, we talked to once before uh, at BronyCon, actually. Um, we interviewed him. Um, he is the creator of some amazing wood carvings. Um, so he is Ed Goodwin, also known as Firemane. Ed, thank you so much for sitting down with us today. Thank you. All right, so, so um, for those of you who didn't see our interview with Ed um, during uh, our BronyCon segments, um, Ed has been creating these incredible wood carvings of the various characters of the show um, for the VIPs to, to give to them here at the convention. Um, and he has a selection of, of a couple of new ones that he's created um, for the guests who are going to be here this weekend. Um, Ed, do you want to just kind of walk us through this and, and, and talk about each of these uh, creations you have here? All right, well, first uh, we'll start with uh, Apple Bloom here. Can you hold it up? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah thank you. Are we good? All right. Um, obviously, this is going to be for uh, Michelle Krieber. Um, you know, uh, what, what can you say about Apple Bloom? You know? Yeah. Uh, what? I mean, I... Uh, she wants it now! <laughs> <laughs> she probably does want it now, I'd imagine. I, actually, I, t I tweeted it to her, and I'm like, you know, this is for you forever for, uh, for at, at here. And, um, you know, she was really amazed by it, you know. And... Um, now, have you been able to set aside some time? Do you have like an uh, an event uh, handing over ceremony where you're going to be doing that? Uh, not that I'm aware. Not that I'm aware of. Okay, so we'll have to make sure that at some point we get these yeah. we get these to the VAs. Now, you yeah. were able to give away all the ones to the VAs uh, at BronyCon. Yeah, yeah, I, I lucked out on that one. I was able to get on to the uh, autograph signings just to hand them to it, and got uh, photos with uh, Tara Strong, Kathy Westlick. You know. Mm -hmm. All the, the uh, guests there. And so what you have here is y you don't have some of the ones for like Tara Strong, who will be here, but she already has her wood carving. So you have the VAs that have not been at conventions yet. Uh, correct, except for um, Lee Tokar, who got snips uh, back in June. I did Stephen Magnet on uh, Dusty's show. I had asked the question uh, if he would like Stephen Magnet. He said, yes, he would. And that was Monday, Tuesday, done. Mm -hmm. Fully done. And uh, well, that leads to another good question: is, is how long does it take you to create one of these carvings? Uh, depending on the, on how sim uh, simplistic it is, a, you know, like Stephen Magnet, just some curvy lines. But when you're talking about like the actual mm -hmm. uh, ponies themselves, like you gotta cut in here and like round it, and mm -hmm. you gotta get the hair lines just right. It's it's all about you know figuring out the perception mm -hmm. of uh, simplicity. Okay. Right. Now, now, you and I have talked a little bit off camera as well about these creations. Um, yeah. And um, in particular, this one, we were chatting a little oh, bit yes. before we turned the camera on, and you said there was a little bit of a story behind this one and how this one was created. Uh, you yes, want to talk about right. that? Um, Rarity, who was going to uh, Tabitha, I uh, <laughs> threw my back out September, uh, Saturday at BronyCon carrying about 10 pounds of wood. And uh, I, had a, I went home, my doctor was able to give me an injection in my back, and uh, I woke up the next morning at 4 o'clock, and I'm like, you know what, I want to go back, but my, I don't drive. So my mother had, I had to wait for my mother to wake up. So I missed all that fun with the, fu the uh, little fire. Oh, yeah. My that friend, was a barrel called, of laughs, my friend calls me, are you really? <laughs> so, but um, while waiting for my mom to wake up, I started and finished Rarity because it was just... You know, when you do one, you can, you know, when you do one unicorn, it's basically the mm -hmm. same process and just when you, it, repetition just makes it a lot easier. Mm -hmm. So now, now you've done more than just pony carvings as well. I've done Alvin and the Chipmunks. I've done uh, Mickey Mouse, Bugs Bunny. I, it's just there's so many of them. But the ones I, I'm actually proud of are these. For the pony ones. Yeah, it was uh, actually because of Ashley Ball. I, that was that was that your first actually that, um, that you were able Rainbow to give to one Rainbow Dash mm -hmm. and Applejack. I did both of them. Uh, I had a carving competition in May, uh, May eighth. Um, being I do cartoon character carvings, they were not very happy about it. I had two in my my subject, and it they were like they didn't award me anything because I was the only two plaques, and they're like, you have to do something that is what we do. Fish or birds or scenery or things right. like that. They didn't like ponies is in the, in the no, contest. I didn't, do, I didn't do the ponies yet. Oh. Like Alvin the Chipmunks or I did art from Magic the Gathering. Mm -hmm. uh, 
They wanted they, more traditional things. Traditional, yeah, traditional. They, they weren't happy with the... It wasn't the quality, it was the subject matter that the you subject chose. Subject matter, basically. Oh. It, it's too kiddish, and when you're talking about people who are in their 60s, 70s, and 80s, mm -hmm. you know, they don't want to see kid stuff. Well, I think that we're just... It's thrilled to see uh, items like these. Can we go ahead and get the yeah, Sweetie you know, Belle yeah, and the Scootaloo? Yeah, I think that those the are the other ones for the camera. The Scootaloo and the Sweetie Belle just look great. I mean, they're the, adorable, the, absolutely adorable. So yeah, um, it was you know I basically you know Scootaloo and Sweetie Belle were just I literally did them simultaneously. Mm -hmm. I'm like. I got so, so, so like one in each hand? I mean, you're, you're just well, going kind of, you, know, like, you got two jigsaws going on? Or? No, no jigsaws. Everything's hand carved. Everything's hand carved. Everything's hand carved. No machinery at all doing nope, this? Nope, nope, So you use a wow. chisel and hammer, basically. Uh, gouges, knives, a uh, thing called a V-tool. So yeah. it gets into these little, it, it, if you actually look here on an angle, I'll show you. Mm -hmm. See how it goes down in a V-form? Yeah, yeah, I do see that. Mm -hmm. It's basically the cutting tool is in a V-form. And you just to kind of carve and scoop out the right. wood as, as you're going. So you're not taking too much out. Well, that's only makes all of these 20% cooler. I had no <laughs> idea that this was entirely by hand. That's I, amazing. I love the this expression is. that you're able to capture on all of the faces. You can see the emotion Absolutely. in the drawing. I think that that's is that tough to do on on wood to capture not just the visual element because you've not just got the painting on here. You've got the the the, the expressions are in the carving itself. Is, is that mm -hmm. tough to do? Well, thankfully for Google Images, that's how I got all the pictures. <laughs> I got all the pictures from off the internet. So, so do you just hand trace onto wood first? Yes. Okay. Uh, because it, having a guideline like that, especially when you're dealing with, if you you know, with the grains on wood, mm -hmm. it's very hard to draw. Right. Because you right. either go mm -hmm. down or it doesn't skew right. Mm -hmm. I mean, all you do, well, the way you traditionally you use carbon paper, I'm lazy. I use pencil. I yeah. just scratch the heck out of the back of it and. <laughs> And then just yeah. well, well, these are just fantastic. We we we'd love to see you when you get a chance to hand these off. Yeah. We'll, we'll 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 keep track of Absolutely. of when they and we'll we'll keep track of them. I know that they're just going to love them. Obviously, uh, Lee Tokar has already seen his. So now, do they kn they all know that they're getting? Uh, obviously, you said Apple Bloom yeah. or uh, Michelle and and Steven. Is it going to be a surprise for Tabitha and Claire and them? Well, because I didn't. I don't know if Claire and Madeline have uh, Twitter. I tweeted mm -hmm. both of them. To Lee yeah, I think that all three of these don't have a Twitter account. Right, right. Yeah, so uh, I noticed, I, I remember that um, Tara Strong was trying to get Tabitha on Twitter at San Diego Comic Con. So, yeah. And she was a little resistant to that, I believe. <laughs> if she isn't, then she might be, you know, a little bit more persuaded. M with this. Maybe this will, will convince her that, you, you know, know, it's worth, it's worth, yeah. the, it's worth the time. Well, thank you so much for sharing with these again, and we'll keep a, a lookout for them. And if we catch you again later in the day, we'll, 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 we'll love to hear how it went handing these off. So thank you again for sharing them. No problem. Oh, and also, uh, talk to Dusty. He got his OC as well. Oh, yeah, we'll have to show uh, Dusty Cat, the manliest brony in the world. Oh, you got did one, one of these. We'll have to share too? one of those yeah. as well. Oh, that, so you did overhaul. Oh, oh that's fantastic. Right, yes, we, we'll, I did. We'll have, to, we'll have to definitely show that on the stream when we get a hold of that. That's fantastic. All right, so we got a lot more stuff lined up. Once again, I'm Joe Stevens. And I'm Tech Rat. And this is the Equestrian Choir for Everfree Radio from Everfree Northwest. And we'll see you soon.